A gunman opened fire on two police officers. Our Madeline O'Neill joins us now in studio with more of this new video. Yes, yeah, Stephen, been a warning, though we have edited it. The footage, including body, body camera video, may be hard to watch. It's released from the investigation into the traffic stop turned shootout that left two police officers and a 50 year old man dead. He's got a rifle. He's got a rifle. Shots fired. Shots fired. After gunshots hit and killed another officer, Cameron Police Officer Hunter Shield fires his own shot. Officer down. Officer down. Officer down. Cameron Police Officer Hunter Shield wastes no time responding before he's shot and killed too. We got two officers down. According to a report from the Barron County District Attorney, Shatek Police Officer Emily Breidenbach pulled over 50-year-old Glenn Perry, who had a warrant for his arrest April 8th, with Shield as backup. The day before, a sheriff's department captain cautioned law enforcement officers about Perry, noting he carries a gun and may be mentally unstable. The DA says Perry opened his door and immediately fired his AR-15 at Breidenbach. She and Scheel fired back. At one point, Scheel was on the ground after being shot when Perry shot him twice more in close range. Get this rifle. Yep. I got lethal. Responding officers found Perry hurt. In the exchange of gunfire, Perry was hit in the leg, ultimately killing him. The bad guy's also shot. The investigation shows Perry also had a handgun, and between the two weapons, had an additional 23 rounds. The DA writes Perry, who killed the officers in a matter of about 45 seconds, almost certainly would have put more people in danger, given more time. Though the two police officers are dead, the DA says their bravery, courage, and sacrifice saved countless lives. Based on the investigation, the Barron County DA says the two officers were legally justified in using deadly force. Stephen Ben. Maddie, thanks.